Okay, welcome to this uh, little help video for one of my students who has basically got some scan data and um, had an anom anomaly. It was like something little poking out and he wanted to know how to cut it off and keep it all nice and clean. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. So I've downloaded this skull. I don't know anything about it at the moment. So I'm just going to open it up and load it into ZBrush. Now I've loaded it as an OBJ file. So I'm going to just grab the OBJ. It's got textures with it as well. I don't really want those. So I'm just going to put it in there just to show you the scan data. Okay, so I've got the OBJ. So I'm going to come into ZBrushium now and uh, just import this OBJ from my desktop. So there he is there. And we'll give that a second and pull that skull out. So that's a nice 3D scan of this. Let's have a look at the polyframe data on it. Um, yeah, it's all decimated up. So let's cut this tooth out here, okay. So I'm going to focus in on that tooth and I would probably come in and isolate a bit of this. So I'll probably just go along here and just isolate this off. I'm pressing the control and alt key just to kind of isolate that. And I'm pressing the control W to make it its own polygroup. Now, the reason I've cut that away like that is because I don't want to focus on anything else apart from the tooth. So I need to cut this tooth out. So there's lots of ways of doing it. One of probably um, nice easy way of doing it is to probably polygroup this. So I could mask across this and maybe use the move functionality. We need to move out for this. If I can find it. Okay, let me just go F on the keyboard and use the zoom this way hold on let me bring the whole model back okay fit it okay and i want to go mask center so let's click him let me just reset this Okay, I'm just going to unmask it all. Control, get them to draw, control mode, back to this. And I'll just click that little tooth there. It's gone on the center now. Okay, that's good. I'm going to unmask it. And I just want to go back to draw and just click in there. Now I'm going to go back to move and that should be better. Okay, good. Right, so probably the easiest way of doing this would be to just mask this up and then hold this and use the control key and just sort of unlock it first and then kind of drag across this in the direction and say okay that's good i want to probably harden my mask up so control shift Oop. sorry about that i'm just gonna do it again okay Harden that mask up by pressing the Alt key and um, control. Ah. Polygroups group masked, and that looks good. Okay, I'm just going to click once to bring that tooth back. Okay. All right, I'm making a real pig's ear of this. Sorry about that. Um, let me go back a few. Let me go back to where we had it like this. Okay. So if I go to group masked, then I've cut that tooth out. So what I can do now is I can press a control shift and click once. Control shift on the tooth, control drag to bring that back. And then I could go into the geometry and I could go modify geometry and delete hidden. Well, this will give me a hole in the tooth, which I probably don't want. 
So what I can do, I'm going to press Control W to make it all one polygroup again, is to close that hole up, I can just go in and go to close hole. And then that will create that closed hole there. Okay, now I probably, and it will match it all up, then I will probably go in and clean it up like that. So there you go, that is removed now. Now I would say if you're playing around with the geometry, you might want to say, right, okay, well I actually want to take this into um, Dynamesh and I might want to keep that geometry. So I'm going to put that resolution quite high and then I'm going to re-Dynamesh that model. So it'll take a little while to process all the faces, but it should hopefully keep most of the detail in there and it's re-Dynameshed it. So as you can see, it still kept that detail. And now, because I'm in Dynamesh, you see, I can really play around with it. So I can go in here and I could just manually mask this up like this. Go around that little tooth. And I'm in Dynamesh, so I can do some good stuff now. Yep, and put it around there. Then I could inverse that mask. And then I could say, right, okay, well actually, I want to use the H polish here so I'm just going to polish this bad boy back into the tooth and then I might want to use the move to actually just give him a bit of a cavity in there so I'm just going to push that in yeah then I come out of this and I re dynamesh this model again it's quite a high sub div so it'll take a little bit of time and once that's done I can then go in with my polish brush and just polish around it and we got some little abnormal abnormalities going on abnormalities so just clean them up like that and there you go so then you could go in with say something like the clay build up brush and you could start to just sort of put some bits around here so give them a bit more of a cavity fill those little areas in and Redynamesh him and there we go nice and clean so we've removed that tooth really easy the other way of course is you can use a curve clip brushes so I can press control and shift go in here go um, clip curve Oop. and we could start to come across press the alt key um, also you want to go in the direction that you're clipping so in this case this way so I'm pressing this key here and then I'm just going around it and I'm just going to let go and that will cut that tooth out there you can get abnormalities happening because I've cut a little bit of the back away so if you're using that method I do suggest that you isolate certain parts of your model like for instance use the control um, use the clipping on it oh hold on let me just redo this control Z so I press the control shift and go into probably the rectangle um, let me just go back one rectangle I just do this I don't want to I don't want to curve kip I want the curve select and do that so I don't affect what's going on behind this can be a good way to isolate certain parts of this down and that way I can use the cur curve clips in here and come in and just use this so I'm pressing the alt key to move to a new point and then let go that will but you do get these kind of abnormalities happening sometimes so maybe not the curve curve clip brush maybe not the best but um, there you go, pretty easy. So I Dynamesh that to get it down. So what about if you don't want to Dynamesh it and you want to keep the original? So how do we do that? Well, let's go and import our meshing again. First of all, I'm just going to go and clear this canvas. Control N then. Um, no, just import. Okay, bring that fox skull back in again. And uh, there he is. So we got that little bad boy back to how he was before. So the other way of doing it, like I said, would be to probably use, oop, what's going on? I 
I don't want to dynamesh it. I've got dynamesh left on from last time. So <laughs> crazy, turn it off. So if I want to get rid of this, I could just use the control and then just use something like the rectangle clip. And press the Alt key at the same time. Oh, no, that's not working either. Okay. All right. Let me just make it a polygroup then. We just select across it. Like that. Like that like that check the other side of your model make sure you haven't gone through control w just control shift on this piece delete hidden delete hidden close the holes boom and there you go which is the method i showed you the first time and then give that clean up so if you don't want to use dynamesh you just want to use that then it's fine that's how you can cut it out then of course you can go in and just um, mask that area up push push that area back if you want to into the tooth um, and then just give it a bit of model cleanup if you need to around it so that's two methods there for clipping from scan data okay so hopefully that sorted your problem out it's really easy to cut things out snip things out again play around with the curve um, the curve clip brushes and the curve brushes they might help you but I think the best method is to dynamesh your scan data then you can just cut things out and polish things back really easily using masking